Hi, my name is Mario Endo and I'm a marketing manager at Texas Instruments. Today I'll be going over how to design a high cell battery or 48 volt system with the LM5161 fly buck converter. The LM5161 is a buck converter that has an input voltage range of 4.5 to 100 volts. It can output up to 1 amp maximum current and uses a constant on time control architecture. It also has two operating modes, which is continuous conduction mode or discontinuous conduction mode, which enables the user to optimize between response and efficiency. The device also comes in a automotive ACQ100 grade 1 option. Another feature of this device is that you can replace the inductor with the transformer to create a flybuck uh, converter that can supply multiple isolated outputs without using an optocoupler or an auxiliary winding for the feedback. Let's take a closer look at the key specifications and what kind of benefits they have. The 4.5 to 100 volt input voltage range means that it can withstand transients in industrial and communications up to 100 volts. It also can withstand the 48 volt battery load dump in automotive applications. The synchronous rectification removes the need for a rectification diode and also increases the efficiency at high step-down ratios. The cot control with internal ripple simplifies the design with fewer external components due to compensation not being required and also the ripple injection being internal in the IC. It also provides fast line and low transient response due to its hysteretic nature. The output error correction amplifier improves the line and load regulation of the device and the selectable CCM or DCM operation enables to the user to select either flybuck topology with multiple isolated outputs or improve the efficiency in the buck topology at light loads. Now let's take a closer look at what the flybuck topology is. Flybuck topology is basically based off of taking a synchronous buck converter and replacing the inductor with a transformer to produce isolated outputs. The advantages of flybuck is that it is smaller and simple versus a traditional flyback circuit because of the lower part counts due to not needing a secondary feedback. The optocoupler is not needed which is one of the most expensive and least reliable components in a traditional isolated topology. It also has higher efficiency and it provides good regulation and it provides flexibility in a sense that you can use the same part as a buck or for isolated outputs. The LM5161 comes in a 14 pin TSSOP package. This package is actually pin to pin compatible with the LM5160 automotive grade device which is a 65 volt 2 amp device. So if you need to upgrade your system because it needs a higher voltage, uh, this is a very easy way to switch your design without doing much rework. Let's take a look now at where 100 volts could be needed. The first space is the 48 volt automotive battery space, where normally the input voltage is 48 volts, but then the 70 volt transient is required for the IC that's off the battery. In telecom, there is a 100 volt transient protection that is required to protect from lightning strikes that may strike the base station. In the high cell battery space, the input can exceed 40 volts uh, due to the battery stacking. And also, two times the battery input transients is sometimes required in case the user might accidentally stack two sets of the battery. Lastly, in the motor drive space, even though the input voltage off the battery or the line may be 24 volts or 48 volts, there needs to be a 100 volt protection from the back EMF of a motor that will go to the IC. Let's now take a look at the performance of the LM5161. These two are efficiency curves of the LM5161 based off of different input voltages and output voltages. On the left side is the efficiency at 12 volts out at various input voltages at 300 kilohertz switching frequency. On the right is the 5 volt output voltage 
at 24 volts and 85 volts input voltage, again at 300 kilohertz switching frequency. In fly buck mode, which is the isolated output mode, there, this is a 12 volt isolated output up to 1 amp, and you can see the efficiencies at 36 volts, 48 volts, and 72 volts input voltage range. The LM5161 complements the existing high voltage buck converter portfolio by providing a non-synchronous to synchronous upgrade path, a higher current upgrade path for already synchronous buck converters, and also a higher voltage path from its sister LM5160 product. The LM5161 also comes with various design resources such as the fly back and fly buck topology selector, the quick start calculator for both buck and fly buck topology, as well as the buck and fly buck EVMs. The topology selector is a tool that can help you determine whether a fly buck or a fly back solution is appropriate for your design. Simply input the design parameters in the cells marked green and then it will come out with some calculations on whether the fly buck is appropriate for a design as well as some of the performance comparisons between the fly buck and the fly buck topology. The quick start calculator enables the designer to get a jump start on their design. All they have to do is input their desired uh, design values in the yellow cells such as the input voltage, output voltage, output current, and the white cells will give the recommended component values based off of the inputted parameters. This will also flag f parameters that are outside the specification of the device. Once everything is done the designer will be have a schematic that is ready to go. The LM5161 buck converter evaluation module can handle input voltage range of 15 volts to 95 volts and the default is a 12 volt output that can handle 0 to 1 amps of load. This output can easily be changed by changing some com external components on the EVMs. There's also a selectable force PDVM and DCM mode. The board size is roughly 38 millimeters by 51 millimeters, and you can see the various efficiency curves depending on the input voltage range to the right. The isolated LM5161 Flybuck EVM is configured to handle 36 to 72 volts input voltage range and has an isolated 12 volt output that can handle 1 amp max output current. You can see on the board that there is no optocoupler circuit and also that the transformer is extremely small. The board size is roughly 61 millimeters by 51 millimeters. To the right, you can see the efficiency curve of this board at various loads and various input voltages. Note that if you supply a VCC externally to the device, this efficiency will increase. This concludes the overview of the LM5161. For more information, you can go to ti.com slash product slash LM5161 or for the automotive grade, you can go to ti.com slash product slash LM5161 dash Q1. At these product folders, you can find all the design resources that we have covered here. Thanks for watching.